Hello artists, I am so excited to be back in the classroom with you this week. Um, this week we're going to be creating these kind of doodle get to know you worksheets where we get to personalize it and get to know you just a little bit better. All you need is some colors, a pencil, marker, your choice of um, of whatever you want to draw with, and then a piece of paper. It could be a copy paper, notebook paper, whatever you have at home uh, that is available to you. Let's get started. Hey friends, so this week in art, we are going to be doing these uh, See the Art in Me worksheets. Now we're gonna be filling these out. Um, I know that those of you at home do not have this, so I'm actually gonna walk you through how to kind of make your own. Um, and we're gonna change things up a little bit um, from here, and we're just gonna find out a little bit more about you, and hopefully you're gonna find out a little bit about yourself, alrighty? All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, you want a pencil, you want some colors, I'm going to have my paper um, in the portrait position. You can use notebook paper, copy paper, really any paper you have. Um, but I'm going to have it in the portrait position, which is long ways up and down. You can have it any which way you want. Maybe you want it to be, you know, catty corner and askew and all kinds of crazy. But it is up to you as to however you want it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick... Um, just uh, whatever, I, I'm going to use a colored pencil. You can use a normal pencil and go over it with marker um, at, afterwards or, or whatever you want to do. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn about what are some of your favorite things. So what I'm going to do is in this top corner, I'm going to draw a rectangle. So we're going to practice just a basic shape. All right, so look, notice it is a loose sketch. That is not a perfect rectangle by any means. It is just a loose sketch of a rectangle. And then I'm going to draw a line across the top and a line down the side. And then I'm going to do three little circles so that it looks kind of like a piece of notepaper. All right, see, it's a real loose sketch. And then within this, I'm just going to do some lines across this new piece of notebook paper that I drew so that I just have some space to write. Okay, so I did some lines. Again, it's not perfect. Real loosey-goosey sketch, okay, which is why I love doing this because it doesn't matter if I get it perfect or not, okay? Now, above this, I'm going to write three, three, okay, letter three, favorite things. All right, and this is something where you are going to pause and you are going to take either a different color. Maybe you want to take a marker. Maybe you want to take a pen. I don't know, something you feel comfortable writing with. And you are going to list three of your favorite things. And I'm going to say, well, three of my favorite things are, let's say, number one, my All right, so three favorite things, my dog, my cozy blanket, and my cup of coffee. All righty. All right, so this is going to be our first one. Now, you can add some color, like vibrant color to this if you wanted to. You could do it with, again, marker or maybe another colored pencil. You can go around what you already drew, right, and add some extra lines. It kind of gives it a pop art feel. Or you can just leave it in that original color. It is up to you. Okay, all right, the next thing that I want you to do, we're going to try another color. And the next thing we're going to do is your favorite ice cream. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw what looks like the bottom of a triangle. Okay, I'm not going to finish the top because what we're going to do around the top is we're going to come up here and we're going to do what kind of looks like, I don't know, like a little kitty cloud. Okay, and then on top of that, we are going to do a rainbow. Now, inside of our cone, to make it look like an actual cone, I am going to do some lines that go diagonal to my triangle. That just means sideways. And then I'm going to do some lines that go in the opposite direction on the other side. So now it looks like I have a little waffle cone. Now before I color this, we are going to write favorite, 
ice cream. And I'm going to write over here on this side. I have all of this space right here. And this sad white paper that's right here, it wants to be written in and decorated. So we are not going to leave any of this white space undecorated. And I'm going to write my favorite ice cream is, and I bet none of you can guess because it is not a common flavor at all. Um, my favorite ice cream is pumpkin ice cream. I know some of you guys are going, what? But I love pumpkin ice cream and Brahms has it in the fall and it is like the one time a year I just eat ice cream until I am just like stuffed. So now that you have written your favorite ice cream, you are going to color this ice cream the color that your ice cream is. Let's say you do mint chocolate chip, right? Maybe you can come in here and you can add some little chocolate chips and then color it green for mint. Or maybe chocolate's your favorite. You're gonna color it brown, okay? So you are gonna color it your favorite color, not your favorite color, but the color based on your favorite ice cream. And you can guess mine's gonna be kind of a weird color. All right, so we're done with our ice cream. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to do ourselves as emojis. Now that means we need something round, so you can find something round that you can trace. Um, for example, I'm gonna trace um, at the end of this marker. I'm also going to trace um, either the top or the end of my water bottle uh, because it is round, and so I can trace the bottom of it on my paper and give myself a nice circle to draw myself as, right? And see, there's my circle. I'm gonna write, draw a few circles up here so I can do some funny looking emojis. Oh, that is not a good circle. That's okay. All right, and another one. All right, so now I have a couple of circles and I have a really big circle. This is going to be me. This is the emoji I'm going to draw myself. And these we can turn into just some funny emojis. Now, I did it with a pencil because I do tend to uh, mess up on tracing my circles. You can see how I have these things kind of sticking off to the side. And that is okay. All right, that happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a marker now. And I'm going to go in. And at the very top, I'm going to write myself myself as and and then I'm going to put emoji. Now if you don't want to write all this and you just want to draw, right, what your favorite things are or color your favorite things, that is okay too. Alright, alright, so I'm going to come around, I'm going to draw in marker around my circles so that I can see them better and then I can erase my pencil lines too once I do that. Now I have to decide what emoji am I feeling today? So if you need to, you can ask your parents or maybe a sibling if you can um, see their emojis on their phone or if you have your own, you can look um, and just kind of see, you know, what am I feeling today? What's the emoji that I want to be today? And you can make these yourself too if you're feeling more than one and you're like, all three of these describe me. Or you just wanna make these your two favorite silly ones and make this one the way you're feeling, you can do that. All right, so I'm done with myself as an emoji. You can see, um, I think that these describe me really well. I use these a lot and I feel like this a lot, um, but I also feel like this, I tend to ask a lot of questions and I'm really curious about things. And um, so, and even jokingly, I, I tend to give people this look. And so um, I just, I felt like this one described me really well. So today I decided that that would be the one um, that I would do. All right, the next one we are going to do is going to be your favorite color. What is your favorite color? And all we're going to do to describe this, is we're gonna kind of fill this space in here, and your paper might look different, but I'm just going to draw, actually I'm gonna do this in marker. 
I am just going to draw some rainbow lines. Notice that they all kind of touch each other. Okay, and you can just draw a few. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. And then I'm just going to do these cute little puffy clouds at the bottom. And then I'm going to write my favorite color. You're going to get really good at spelling the word favorite after today. My favorite color. And you can see I have two sections. You can have three sections if you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, you just want, you know, enough rainbow space to take your favorite color and fill it in. And my favorite color happens to be turquoise, which is a really pretty blue green. So all I'm going to do, you can use crayons, you can use colored pencil, you can use both and have all different shades of turquoise in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my different turquoises and I'm going to fill in each one of these sections with a different turquoise. You could fill them in all exactly the same, right? Some could be really dark, like this one I'm doing really, really dark, and the next one then could be really, really light. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to draw what looks like a big question mark. I'm gonna come over here. It really doesn't matter where you draw it on your paper. Just notice that we're keeping all of the things kind of close together. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna draw in pencil a big question mark, okay? Now, I drew it in pencil because I'm going to take marker and I'm actually going to go around my question mark. Notice I drew a straight line at the top and the bottom where the end of my line is. And I'm gonna go around my question mark without touching my pencil line so that by the time I'm done, I have what's called a block letter. Okay, and it's gonna be in the shape of a question mark. And I can erase this pencil line on the inside but this one is actually my favorite one, and it's going to be write something no one knows about you. So I'm going to say one thing, okay, no one knows about you. All right, now before I write my one thing, and I think you guys are going to like my one thing, find it kind of goofy. I'm going to erase this pencil line and after I write inside of my question mark, I can color it in and make it all kinds of pretty. All right. All right. So the question is one thing that no one knows about you. And I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to write on the inside of my question mark. And the one thing that no one knows about me is, except maybe my husband, is I like Oops, that is not an L. I don't know what I'm doing. I like, you guys ready for this? Kung Fu movies. I know Kung Fu movies. I love Kung Fu movies. I don't know very many other people that love them like I do, but I really love Kung Fu movies. And I don't know very many people who know that about me. I really, really, really enjoy them. So now that I am done writing that inside of my question mark, I can take another color, you can pick whatever color you want, and I can color in my question mark. Let's see, I think this time I'm gonna do purple. All right, so now I am done with my question mark. All right, and you guys kind of get the gist. So we are doing, you know, basically things about you and things to learn about yourself, things that your family can learn about you. Um, I'm going to write a few more questions in this space, okay, that you can answer and you can draw. And then once you're done, you can go in and fill in. You see all of these spaces in between what we drew? You can go in and you can add little paint splatter in between all of these little spaces and make it look like you've got some little paint splatter in between. And you can either color them in with different colors or you can take a marker and you can just kind of do a little shade in really quickly. 
All right, it is up to you, okay? All right, so this is the basic gist. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add a few more questions down here, and I'll leave a picture at the end of more things you can draw on your own and answer on your own. But today's, um, or this week's lesson is all about just learning about yourself. Um, it's showing me some of these just really fun doodles.